It's soft, it's garlicky, it's warm, and it's just the best comfort food. I'm just eating so much rice. Hi, I'm Bruna, and today we'll be making Brazilian rice together. Here's my mom's mantra about Brazilian rice. It can't stick together. It needs to be soft, but not too soft. And it can't be dry, so it's a delicate balance. This recipe will take a little less than 30 minutes to prepare, but most of it it's wait time. So let me break this down. 15 minutes to let the rice dry, five minutes to toast the rice with a garlic oil mixture, and 12 minutes in the pressure cooker. Okay, let's talk ingredients. You're gonna need a cup of white long grain rice, a cup and a quarter of water, a tablespoon of canola oil, a teaspoon of salt, and three minced garlic cloves. All right, let's do this. After you rinse the rice, let it dry for 15 minutes. The easiest way to make Brazilian rice is to use an electric pressure cooker. So we're gonna get a tablespoon of canola oil and we're gonna add there. And we're gonna get the garlic here. I'm gonna add that there and make sure that it's mixing up with the oil. And I don't want this to get too brown. Just a light brown will work really well here. Okay, it's time to add the rice. You can see here that it's getting a little brown. And I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna mix it up again. We're gonna let the rice sit with the garlic and the oil uh, for a couple of minutes here. We're gonna mix it up from time to time. It's going to start getting a little toasty. All right, so we're gonna add the cup and a quarter of water. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix it up again. One tip, put a little bit of the water of the rice on your hand to taste it. The water should be slightly saltier than you want your rice to be. So let's give it a try. Mm. This is something I eat almost every day. So I never, ever, ever get sick of it. If you want to learn how to make beans, which is the perfect combination with rice, you can watch my other video on how to make beans and you'll know how to make the most traditional Brazilian meal. All right, thanks for cooking with me and I will see you next time. I'm